All right, so we're back. <clears throat> uh, a little bit of modification to the original recipe. Uh, I cooked them probably about 20 minutes at 350, and then I turned the broiler on for four or five minutes to get them brown on the top. Uh, so I did test one. Just that was where I decided to change the uh, change the the cook time because it was a little chewy on the inside. So they're still really hot. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the peaks on them, uh, they did hold a little bit of their form. Uh, the ones I used the bag on uh, held their form a lot better. Uh, so another change I would make, uh, because the, the one that I tasted uh, was very sweet, not too sweet, I mean, if, as long as you're just eating them as a snack uh, and you're not eating like four or five of them, it's probably okay. Um, but I would reduce the sugar and the other thing I would do differently from what I said in the first part of the video was probably reduce the sugar and instead of beating in the flour with the sugar and, and energy egg replacer mixture I would probably um, forego that and just mix it in by hand with the coconut. Uh, I just think that maybe the flour mixed in with the sugar and egg replacer uh, possibly lowered, you know, took away some of that volume that I created uh, without the flour in it. So, let's grab one of these. You can see, I mean, they do, they do hold their shape. I mean, they're, they're not falling apart or anything. Uh, but, but I think either because they're hot, still, uh, ah. They're hard to pull apart, so they do. Uh, they do have the coconut. They're not as fluffy and flaky as some macaroons are, um, but I did taste them, and they they do taste good. So if you're looking for a vegan snack that's sweet, uh, this definitely follows the criteria of vegan. Wouldn't call it healthy, uh, but it's uh, something to satisfy your sweet tooth. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel or like the videos and I'll be back soon.